Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. In today's video, we are going to be playing as Arthas, the Lich King, one of the most iconic characters in the Warcraft universe and one of the most iconic characters in this game as well. He's a guy who has been good for a very long time. You can build him as a solid main tank, you can build him as a bruiser, he's really good all around. Though unfortunately, I was never good as him. The reason why I was never good as him was because because his abilities are really off-putting to me for some reason. Like, it took a while for me to really get used to him. But also, my buddy Cypher, who I used to play this game with a ton back in the day, he loved Arthas. As you guys can see, he pretty much only played Arthas. And as a result, whenever we played, he would be Arthas. And I couldn't really get to learn him whatsoever. So, recently, I've gone back to Arthas. I'm trying to get better as him. And I must say, I really do like him as a character in this game. Once you get used to using all of his abilities and using his trait on cooldown and picking the right talents depending on the composition and the matchup he can actually be pretty formidable so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's just jump right into the gameplay All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a match at Hanamura Temple, which is really strange, man. I haven't played this map really whatsoever, maybe 10 times in total and only one other time since they brought back to the game. So I am not very good at this map. It's going to be pretty interesting. And the team comps we have here are also going to be pretty interesting. So on our team, we have myself as Arthas. We have a Phoenix, a Nova, an Abathur, and a Cassia. <laughs> not really the greatest team comp ever. And on the opposing team, we have a party of three, which includes three total tanks. If Varian builds into being a tank, of course, he could build into being an assassin. But they have a Dahaka, a Varian, and the Nubarak as warriors, potentially. And then we have Jaina as an assassin. And then Tassadar, who's kind of like a support, but kind of not. What Tassadar can do is he can put shields on his friends. So our Abathur here, who has the Abathur portrait, so who knows, maybe this person's actually good as Abathur. But this Abathur is going to have to build into being a healing Abathur, a support Abathur, if you will. And I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. We're going to have to wait and see, but we're definitely going to be building to be more of a main tank here in this game as compared to being a bruiser. I'm hoping to get a game as a main tank and a game as a bruiser here in this video. And I'll have to do some fancy editing, maybe, depending on what matches are going to end up giving us. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get this game underway here. Let's see if Abby can build into Healy. And, and Abby building the he Healy, yeah. <laughs> We're going to see if he can. We're going to see if he can. I hope he can, because I know Abathur can actually be a somewhat decent healer. Let's see what talents he took here right at the very beginning. All right, he did. He's building into it, boys. He's building He's building into it. Um, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be really cool. I want to do a video as Abathur. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. It's either gonna be really good or really bad. So here for the first talent, there's a lot you can actually take. I typically take Eternal Hunger. What Eternal Hunger is going to do is it's gonna allow me every time I use my Frostmourne hung Frostmourne hungers on an enemy, it's going to basically make it stronger and stronger and stronger throughout the entirety of the game. It's gonna give me back more mana. It's gonna be doing a lot of things. Here we go. Now Varian here getting a little excited. Let's back it up here just a little bit. Let's turn on my E. Let's try and slow some of these guys down. We're right here underneath our towers. So there's no sense in not. He's going to go for the stasis, but if I can body block... There we go! Now let's see if I can just back myself out of here. I think abathur has got me. Very nice. Very nice. Let's give a good job to everybody because that was really well done. So how does the Lich King work? How does Arthas work here in this game? Well, his Q is going to be called Death Coil, which you can use to target an enemy like that. It's just basically a little bit of a ranged attack you can put out. And if you use it on yourself, it will heal you. Let's get that hit off on him and then keep on backing up. See right here, I just heal myself by using it. If you guys don't know, you can hold down Alt and then press a button and then it will uh, self-cast it on the U. Or of course, you can just you know press the button and then click yourself. But you know, self-casting is a little bit easier. Um, that's going to be our cue, right? And we're, we're probably going to be taking some talents later on, which are going to make that a little bit better. Our W is going to be Howling Blast. This allows me to place down... An, well, we'll place down right there. Why not? And that's going... And it's going to root everybody that it hits, right? So obviously, it's good to hit... Um, as many enemy heroes as you can, root them all together like that. It's good for peeling, it's good for engaging, it's good for pretty much everything, right? Our E, which I'm going to be showing you guys here in a second, is going to be this AoE ability right here. Now, what this does is it slows enemies that it hits, and, it, and the longer they stand in it, it slows them even more. But that does drain your mana. What it does is it costs 15 mana per second that you actually have it active. So, when you're in a big wave like this, you can turn it on, and then you'll be good to go. 
right? You'll lose mana, but you're doing a lot of AoE damage, so it kind of works out for you. And I'm just going to leave it on right now, because it's going to keep slowing them down, which allows me to move out of the way. It doesn't slow me down, it only slows down enemies, right? And then our D is Frostmourne Hungers, which makes it so, whenever you press it, which has a 10 second cooldown, I thought it was 10 seconds, but I want to make sure. Whenever you press it, as you guys can see right there, you instantly do your next auto attack, and it also does a little bit more damage, and also returns mana to you. So, while you're playing as Arthas, you're basically going to be constantly spending your mana doing stuff like this, and using your trait to do some damage, and then get some of your mana back. Now, in about five seconds, we can actually get ourselves a sippy, and then we're going to head up there and actually get into the fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got our sippy. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Let's hope we can actually help out Nova. We should be able to actually bully those guys out of there, I would think. But yeah, here for this talent right here, we're going to take a quest called Frozen Wastes. All right, let's see. Oh, I was hoping to be able to root him there, but he moved out of the way just in time perfectly. And go for... Oh, I want to go for the trade on him. There we go. Just going to keep on do, doing a bunch of damage here. I'm going to be the main frontline guy here. Let's try and root him in place. We're going to death coil him. Uh, it's not working. It's not working. I'm taking way too much damage from their Tassadar. But right now, we're actually doing good, considering there's only three of us really here. And... Go for the hit there. I'm just going to keep on having to back up, though. I'm out of health and mana. I can't actually heal myself. Ah! Oh, if the Abathur was actually able to get to me right there, it would have been helpful. But uh, he wasn't. there's a cooldown. He can only jump to so many people. So, yeah, that's the long and the short, the basic gameplay of Arthas. And for a while, it took me... You know, I wasn't very good at this kind of gameplay because you're constantly micromanaging your Frozen Tempest, turning it on, turning it off, making sure you're utilizing it to the best of your ability. And then you're trying to root people, you're healing, you're choosing between healing yourself and damaging enemies. You're always using your trait every 10 seconds, pretty much no matter what, to keep mana back. But also trying to swing your auto attacks just right. You don't want to use it right before you're about to auto attack. You want to auto attack and then use it so then you can get another auto attack off really quickly. And, oh, screwed that all up, didn't I? Let's do a little damage with the Q. Try and slow him down here. We're going to be able to slow him down well enough, I think. Oh, we got some body blocking. And he's going to have a little bit of healing, but not nearly enough. Let's go for his self heal myself. He's going to try and save this himself. That's okay. He's going down. Now, here comes Nubrak trying to save his buddies. But if we can maybe get in his way. I've got him very slow right now. And now we're going to be able to root him in place. There we go. There we go, team. Well freaking done. Let's, let's get back on this. Now, for this talent here, there's... These are all really good choices, in my opinion. They really are. But I like to take Immortal Coil. What this does is it makes it so my Death Coil, no matter what, will always heal me. And it heals me, it heals me for 50% more than it normally does. Um, Rune Tap is good. It makes it so every third basic attack will heal me for 4% of my maximum health. So if you're doing a lot of auto attacking, it's pretty good. And Icebound Forward to here is going to give you a little bit of armor, which is direct damage reduction in this game. But it just doesn't really seem as worth it as Immortal Coil. So no longer do I have to choose between self-healing and... Oh, we should probably back up here. Self-healing and dealing damage. I can deal damage and self-heal. You know? So I tend to go with that. I'd be interested to hear what the actual good Arthuses tend to do. But that's what I always like to do. Alright, let's just stay in this lane right now. Turn on our Frozen Tempest. Do some AoE damage. Use our trait here. Get our mana back. And right, try to avoid that task star best we can. Now, this might be the end of this little tower here. Oh, they're going to back it up on... Oh, yep, let's back up. Let's back up. I'll be able to peel for him. Yeah, he'll be okay. Be to, see, notice how the Death Coil goes, hits him, then comes back to me and heals me for a little bit. It's pretty neat, right? Looks like we have a new Brack all the way down there at bottom. So, I guess we're... See, yeah, just walk out of his range there. We're doing pretty good right now. Do a little bit of damage on you and heal myself. And let's root him. We're going for the big root. He's going to go underground here in a second, but that's okay. Make sure this is turned on. Go for the... Oh! I'm going for the self-heal. I'm doing everything I can here to try and pull them backwards, but for some reason, we're not really doing a lot of damage right now, despite being surrounded by damage dealers. Oh, and he's not peeling at all for Cassia. What's he doing up here? What's my man doing? What's Phoenix doing here? I remember when Phoenix first came out, he was like... Considered to be one of the best characters in the game. Like, typically when New Hero comes out, um, not so much this time with Imperius, but normally uh, when New Heroes come out, uh, they're usually unbalanced. They're usually better than they probably should be. And I remember, man, when, <laughs> when Phoenix came out, he was first pick, first ban for ages. Now, here is an interesting choice. When it comes to your ultimates, you have two really good choices when you're playing as Arthas. And I think the obvious choice for this one is actually going to be us taking Army of the Dead. 
But the reason why he, these are good choices is because Summon Sarago or Syndragosa is really good for taking out... Um, it's really good for taking down forts. It's really good at big team fights as well. But Army of the Dead puts a bunch of ghouls out that will fight enemies. But you don't really care so much about the fighting of enemies. What you're after is the fact that you can activate your ultimate after and heal yourself with it. So that's what you're kind of picking that talent for. You'll be seeing gameplay up here in a second if it sounds confusing. But everyone's deciding let's all go and get into a big team fight and die right before the objective. Ugh, at least one person did. And they end up losing their Jaina. So I guess it's kind of a fair trade right now. But we're going to need to group up. For it. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I'm going to go for a root. Uh, wanted to go for the root there. Now we're just going to bring them back into this way. Oh, you're going to put Nova into there. That was a really good choice to cancel her ult like that. There we go. Well, now they're going to be pushing the objective. Well, all we have to do is defend it all the way down here. All right, Nubarak, my friend. Let's just root you in place. Let's get a Q off on you. You see what damage we can do. I'm also just trying to get rid of this minion wave. That's going to help us out if we can get rid of that. All right, they're going to be coming towards us. I really wish Cassie were here. Really wish Cassie were here. All right, here she is. And we're going to lead with this. And we're going to go. Army of the Ghoul. We're going to put our ghouls out right now. And now, as you can see, I can press my R again every couple of seconds to heal myself, basically, by sacrificing the ghouls. I keep on doing that right now because I'd rather have the ghouls healing me as compared to doing damage and fighting. All right, now let's head up here best we can. And as you can see there, we end up getting a second Lich King, which, 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 which was pretty neat. Now let's put this on top of here. There, Oh, I thought that was a different turret. I thought that was a different turret. Oh my goodness. So it used to be way back in the day that you would, I think it was on this map as well, you use your turret and you can place it to like fortify the payload, right? But now it's just like a normal everyday average turret, it would appear. All right. And Varian's going to be coming on in, which is going to be a mistake on his part, I would hope. All right. Nope. We're just going to keep backing up and getting bullied, apparently. I'm going to keep on slowing everybody best I can. Let's try and get you guys out of there. We got that done. Now let's back it up. Do a little bit of a self-heal. And I'm going to try my best to help out right here, Cassie. If, uh, this isn't enough. Now, we should be able to finish him off, though. And ooh. I'm going to be able to root him here in a second. Nope, we're, we're just going to... Uh, I was able to root him. We're going to have to back it up here. For this talent here, Howling Blast reduces armor, reduce uh, cooldown, adds a slow. We're going to reduce the cooldown, add a slow here for our trait. See if that's going to be able to help us out. Right now, I'm pretty much starved for mana, but we got that. We got the payload off. Which is very nice. Yes, I would like to get this. Let's go ahead and use our trait. There we go. Go for the self heal. All right. So far, so oh, we might actually be able, a, a new Brack, of course, can dive underground, but I'm going to stay back here because he's going to try and do this. And there we go. Room in place. Get in front of him. And there we go. That, I mean, that's what you do as a tank right there. You just get in the way. Um, it's all about positioning, man. It really is. And also remembering to turn off your freaking E. Come on. I always forget that. <laughs> all right. Right here. There we go. Down goes that. So far, so good with this matchup. Ooh, the Haka. Bad choice, my friend. Bad choice, my friend. Let's root him. He's going to stasis, which is fine. I'm just going to body block him right here. He ended up getting a lot of his health back due to his stasis, but he's still dead anyway. These are just really, really dumb choices. On <laughs> Their team's like throwing this right now. Like, what are they doing? Let's get ourselves our, uh, our sight back and go grab the Sentinel camp, I suppose. I mean, right now, there's really nothing for us to do besides grab camps. If I had to guess, by the way, uh, the opposing team is likely up here taking this camp right now, if I had to guess. There we go. Now, what's kind of nice, a little quality of life thing. Uh, whenever you mount up, you automatically turn off your Frozen Tempest. So if you're like me and you're always forgetting to turn it off and wasting all of your mana as a result, uh, you can get back, which is pretty nice. Now, let's see if somebody else wants to take this, because chances are I'm going to mess up the freaking turret. Yeah, all right, they got it. Perfect. All right, we've got the recon camp. We've got pretty much everything. They finally did get the camp like we suspected they would, but we got everything else. Now they kind of have... Ooh, if we can get this pick on Jaina. Oh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're, we got Nova here following me. Oh, I, miss, I missed my route, but I'm slowing her best that I can. And now we're going for the ulti on her. That's going to be the end of her. And now he's going invisible. That's what Tastar does. And we're going to... Oh, the wall. He got me perfectly because I couldn't get the root off on him. That's unfortunate. But we can slow down our buddy Anubarak here. We can finish up our eternal hunger quest by hitting our D on him right there. Pun intended. Wasn't that a euphemism? 
<laughs> now here at level 16, again, lots of really good talent. So we're going to take the increased uh, number of Frostmourne and Hunger attacks. So every time we use our trait now, it's going to do the auto attack twice as compared to just once, which gives us more mana back, does more damage. It's good in general. Like right here, bam, bam. You see how much mana I got back right there in two big attacks? It was perfect, right? Let's go take a sippy. Get, get full mana back for this next fight. We have our army of the dead ready to go. Uh, we should be okay. We should be okay, but th they're all alive, so we still have to actually win the team fight. So far, we we are winning. We have 14 kills, so they're eight. So not bad, but all right, payload's coming up. Let's see. I mean, he's got the turret ready to go, but it's hard to place down the turret on a moving objective like this. The hawk is up top. I want to stay here on the on the object. We have two turrets we can actually place down. All right, we're going to lead with this, and we're going to ulti right away. Oh, they put me inside. You put me inside, which is actually smart to get cocooned like this. This is why you play a new Barak. He, he's so good at isolating people. I still have my army of the dead out here fighting stuff, but they're not really doing a lot. Now let's keep on moving and go for the slow. Oh, that should be the end of him. I'm trying to buy block, but I guess he got stuck on me right there. Backing it up. All right, now there we go. Go for the Q. Right now, we can basically bait it. I like, I like the idea, actually, of... Uh, we'll, we'll go back and defend here for a little bit. I like the idea of us turtling a little bit until we get uh, our Cassia back. Because without Cassia and, no and Nova, I mean, Phoenix is there to do some damage. But, I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> he, he's, not, he's not making so many big plays so far this game. So, best situation, I think, is for us just to play it this way. Now, let's head down. Give me hitting them from the side here. I'm going to go through the bush instead of trying to take them head on. Because it seems silly to take them head on like that. And now we go at it. Oh my gosh, the wall. The freaking wall. Okay, well, they're all five here. Nova's still a ways away. I'm not sure as much we can actually do here. We may just have to concede this. Let's just concede this. No, we're not going to be able to get there in time. They're about to turn it in. There's no sense in us going in, diving in, and dying. Like like that, by the way. And I, I immediately get cocooned. Unless my teammates uh, attack the cocoon, I'm going to be stuck in here until that bar goes away. All right. And Jaina, the Frost Mage. There, down she goes. There we go. Double kill. Oh my gosh, she actually didn't score that? I, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't realize they didn't score. That is hilarious. We actually went in and that worked. <laughs> Talk about a choke. They had all five people right there. We had to wait. We went in on a pretty poor decision. I guess it was a good decision in the long run because we outperformed them, but... Like, there's no way we should have even tried to engage that. Like, there's no way that uh, that should have worked. But it did. And if, if we have one more person on here, looking, I don't know this because the map just came back and it's my second time playing it. Um, but yeah, it moves a lot, a lot slower when I'm the only person here. Uh, guys, I, I, I need, need assistance. Which I guess is actually down, not up. I need, I, I need to say it was dangerous. I meant to say I need assistance. And there's gonna, yeah, there's gonna be a fight here. But she, Jaina used her Ring of Frost earlier. It might actually be off cooldown now. And let's just go in there. Oh, he's gonna go and cocoon me right away. Nova's being smart and trying to attack the cocoon. I like being prioritized like this. It makes me feel good about me. Oh, Jaina! Army of the Dead. Let's get the Army of the Dead up. Now, between my Army of the Dead and my own self-sustain, I'm yeah. I was gonna say I might be able to take all this down. I don't. I don't see why they're just continuously hitting me like that instead of focusing my squishies. Look at us main tanking, boys. All right, now let's see. We might be able to save slash pick and get our Q off. There we go. <laughs> Woo. It's going good, boys. It's going real good right now. Now, you can see why I wanted to make a video with Arthas. I literally just started playing him again today. I played... I want to say like three matches with him or so or so so far today, and I'm really enjoying it, man. I really am. Here at level 20, uh, as with mo most characters, you have a lot of choices at level 20. Uh, Anti-magic shells can negate all the magic damage you take for three seconds right after you use the ability, and then heals you for that much for 25% of the damage that you mitigated, which is obviously pretty good. Um, Death's advance though is going to increase our movement speed passively by 10%, and then give us an ability to press, which will act, which will increase our movement speed by 30% for three seconds. And then Legion of Northrend is going to make us so a three additional ghouls are active, which is pretty freaking insane as well. And 
yeah, so just, they're all really good choices, in my opinion. We're going to back this up to down here. See if we can maybe make some plays. I, I'm really not sure which... I don't really know which ones we should maybe be taking here. It's a tough call, but we're going to take Death's Advance and hope I don't live to regret it. Let's go for the double hits. Oh, he's going invisible. That's fine. That's fine, because you're kind of le leaving your big tank man here out to dry. Oh, my gosh. Let's go for the Q on him. I'm not able to slow him down any more than that. We just weren't able to get through all that damage. The Haka, when he's got enough essence like that, he can actually be somewhat formidable. But he definitely is really more of a uh, an off tank than anything, I would say. All right, if our minions could push up. I pushed up, like, really fast, assuming the minions hurry up and get here. There we go. Let's get this wall down. Now, I would love for these guys to engage us here. Well, maybe I wouldn't because that would involve a little bit of luck. I wish people would just leave. I'm, I'm about to just back up myself. Oh, my God. He cocooned me. We're baiting a fight, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Uh, as, soon, as soon as we get out of here. No, maybe, maybe not. I was going to say, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to use my ultimate. But no, there's no sense in that. And go for the big group. There we go. No, it's I'm going to try and stand like right here, even though it's making me take damage. I want to do damage to both the tower as well as the, uh, <gasps> the tower as well as the fountain. I mean, we might just be able to push the win here. I mean, in all reality, no, we don't have enough minions with us right now. Let's just push back to the payload. Let's win via payload. Uh, we still have all our towers up and everything. We're pretty much good to go. But I'm noticing here as we're playing this, even though I'm technically trying to be like a main tank, I'm still kind of building into being a bruiser regardless. I'm not taking as many things to focus on healing me really that much. Um, which is kind of fun about Arthas. So, like, every talent, I'm like, all right, so there's lots of things you can pick here. And it's true. Like, he does have a wide variety of talents, which are really good. All right, I'll be on the payload, guys. Don't you worry. You guys enjoy that fight there. There's no way you shouldn't be able to kill him, right? Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, he's going to die now. <laughs> Took a while. Freaking Dahaka, man. <laughs> Took him ages to go down, but he finally did. But yeah, the more people we have on the payload, the faster it goes. We, we, we have two of three right now. If we have one more person here, it'd go even faster. But we're pretty much going to GG, I would assume, after we get this payload off. I'm not sure, though. I don't know how much damage. I know it has 12 shots, but I don't know how much damage those shots actually have. And check out the next Ramus banner here. Love it. So good. There it is. All right, so we got 12 shots. How much is that going to do? Oh, I guess I should be over here helping you guys. No, don't let Jane the Frost Mage live. Jaina can't live. Oh my gosh, the stupid wall. I would have so easily had Jaina with a root right there. We're going to see if she's stupid and didn't go all the way back. Ah, uh, we're looking. And, oh, hell yeah, Ibarian. He just completely turtling back to his core. Yeah, so 12 shots from that only did 50% of the core's damage. It did, I mean, what, getting the objective didn't actually win us the game. Which is actually surprising. Yeah, and our, and our Abathur there used his ultimate to become a, an, an extra version of me. Which obviously didn't really serve any big purpose. Uh, I'm going to go to the Sentinel. Yep. <laughs> no. no you, you can't time that better. That was perfect. you think we, we were bots right there. How we perfectly both signaled we were heading to this camp like that. A little bit of healing off in this guy. There we go. Take a little bit of damage for no reason, because that's what I like to do. All right. We can grab this camp up here as well. Basically, they're going to keep on playing from behind. And, ooh, if we can actually pick the Hawker right now. We're not even going for the camp. We're going for the Dahaka pick. As fast as I can go on my little horse right now. Oh, Nova's going in for the kill. And, oh, this might have been a bad idea for you to try and come save your friends. Oh, okay. Now they're going to be they're gonna try and kill me. I might be able to get out of this. I might, using Death's Advance. As soon as I get up here, I'm a death advance. Maybe pop my ulti. Whew, this is going to be a rough one. All right. We're going to pop the ulti right now. Uh, go for the Q, and we're good. Jaina has me rooted, but that doesn't really matter all that much. Hi, Jaina. Speaking of Jaina, how's it going? Let's go for some auto attack damage. Let's actually focus on the person I can kill, not so much the tank. And I'm going to keep on going. We're going to root you. There we go. And Tassadar just walking away, knowing his whole team is pretty much dead. So good. So good. I actually, actually, oh, hero of the storm. A hero of the storm. Look at me go. What are we looking for up here? What are we signaling? 
I mean, we can pretty much push the core to win. We have Windians already at the bottom part of the core. And so now we just keep on pushing, get this down, and then the core got taken out by the min minions anyway. <laughs> what a game! What a game with Arthas, ladies and gentlemen. A quick look at the talents once again, if you guys want to like, take a peek at that. But that's pretty similar to how I always like to play as Arthas. Pretty similar. Uh... He's a, he's a bruiser, but you can build into making him more of a main tank that can sustain a lot of damage, depending, right? And yeah, dude, 37% main healer, freaking Abathur. I have to give MVP, MVP to Abathur, or at least my upvote to Abathur, because he did a great job there. But as you guys can see, Arthas, there's a reason why he's uh, one of the top tier characters in this game. Um, there's actually a time, and funnily, funnily enough, I showed you guys Cypher's stats earlier. Back when we played, Arthas was bad. <laughs> he was actually really bad. Like, he wasn't, uh, okay, he wasn't terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but he he was one of the, like, mid, mid to bottom tier tanks in the game. He just wasn't considered to be very good, and not a lot of people liked him. Then they buffed him, and now he's been really good for a long time, uh, <laughs> which is still the way of things, you know. Back when my brother, uh, Butcher is by far my brother's most played character, and uh, Butcher was actually really bad as well. Uh, back then, before they buffed him. And <laughs> so his his main was Butcher, Cypress was Arthas, I was Murky, and then my buddy, um, my buddy Jiro, he would typically play Kerrigan, that was his top character, but he'd also play support quite a bit. And that was just kind of what we did. But ladies and gentlemen, what a way to go. The most amaz amazingest board game ever. So we got something with that for doing that challenge. Now let's go ahead and roll this. I don't even know what this whole event is, but I keep doing it and doing the challenges, and it gives me things. It gives me gold. It gives me loot boxes and stuff like that. So, uh, now play three games, win a match with less than four deaths, in, or play three games, or win a game with less than four deaths in quick match, unranked, or ranked. Then you get 25 gold, which is not a lot, and a board game sticker, which I don't know even that, what that is, but just passable things you can do in the background to get rewarded, which is pretty fun. But, ladies and gentlemen, honestly and truly, I think that's all I have for you guys here in this video. It's hard to beat a game like that. A, a game where you don't have a proper healer, you get a hero of the storm, and you really just show off how good Arthas can be as a character all around. As a tanky tank, as well as a bit of a bruiser. We did pretty good damage in that game. A legendary. Ow, the loot box, by the way. Ugh. Ugh. Terrible skin. Terrible skin. Ugh. So bad. So bad. I'll be showing you guys that skin here in a second. Uh, here, basically nothing but duplicates, which is fine, because duplicates equal shards. And then, what we got here? Ooh, got an epic. All right. Um, okay. A decent-looking mount that apparently is a duplicate, but it's okay to get duplicates, because, again, it gives you 100 shards. But let's show you that skin here for Arthas really quickly. I hate it, man. So Arthas has a bunch of cool skins, right? The default one, the blue one, which I like. This one, which is like, I guess, grayer or something. Then you got this one, which is pretty nice. I might actually rock that. That's kind of neat looking. It's kind of got a Diablo vibe to it. But then you got your Crown Prince Arthas, which was him before he became the Lich King, which is pretty neat. You have the old Master Arthases, which just bigger armor and a bigger cape, I guess. I mean, lots of really cool skins, right? And then even more of them down here. I mean, you got this... Uh, the Worm Arthas, pretty much. Really cool as well. Uh, this is the Stromgard Prince one, as if he was the Prince of Stromgard instead of Lordaeron. But then you have these ones, which are the Mystic Kingdom skins, which are not bad in of themselves, but it's like a Mist of Pandaria take on Arthas, which I really don't like whatsoever. <laughs> so I typically rock something like this, because I like this skin a lot. Really freaking cool looking. I mean, in theory, I could just go take this, which is kind of the same idea, but it's more green than anything. I want the blue, right? I want the blue. And this is close to it, but this one is just really, really good in my opinion. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.